one of the main celebrants at Shane McGowan's cremation is Johnny Depp, who attended his close friend's wake till the wee hours of the morning. Among the main celebrants at this afternoon's cremation of his close friend Shane McGowan was Johnny Depp. The Hollywood celebrity was one of the few members of the Pog's inner circle of vocalists to say goodbye to him one last time following his burial mass yesterday, which was attended by about 15 people inside the cathedral and shown live on television throughout the world. When Shane's casket was sent to be burned, Johnny stood next to his widow, Victoria Mary Clark, and the group gave each other hugs. Shane's remains were to be buried in the Shannon River tonight. Johnny, along with about 250 other mourners, attended the ceremonial wake at the small thatched cottage pub in Bali Common until the wee hours of the morning. According to a source, Johnny has shown Shane how much he cares for him during his stay in Ireland. He has shown everyone how much he respects Shane. He struck up conversations with everyone he encountered during the wake. However, he refrained from joining the Celtic band in song. Given his history of showing her husband attention, Victoria is not shocked by Johnny's approach to the situation. The Shannon Crematorium, which is characterized as having a tranquil setting, hosted the last act of Shane's funeral. Underwriters from J.J. Ryan's funerals, operated by Shane's close friend Philly Ryan, transported his wicker coffin to its final resting place. In addition to driving the hearse, Mr. Ryan oversaw the process of bringing the coffin into the crematorium chapel. Touching Shane McGowan's coffin, friend and lead vocalist of the Pogs, brought Mr. Depp to tears. The beloved Christmas song The Fairy Tale of New York, which is predicted to top the charts this year, is McGowan's most well-known work. He passed away last week after a fight with illness.